How's it going everybody? So I had a ton of questions and stuff on Reddit about the house that I built here, so I wanted to sort of uh, go over some of the stuff and why it's designed a certain way and uh, hopefully some things that'll make it easier uh, for you guys to do this stuff on your own. Um, so starting off, the reason that I picked this spot specifically um, is mainly because Burgle is over on that other side there, on this other side of the tree. So you can sort of uh, get off and, and kind of ride the tree branches and whatnot uh, all the way over to him if you want. Um, and you can sort of also glide back over to the front uh, from here, uh, which makes it kind of nice. Although I think my thing is about to break, but I should be able to make it. I could probably extend it out a little farther, but I kind of like where it is now. Um, so starting with like the foundation of it, the, the thing I did here, a lot of bugs and stuff will patrol in this area, uh, more specifically, like kind of, yeah, like a little bit in this zone. Uh, so I did it so I could still easily get in away from them. And then once I'm up here, they have trouble kind of pathing. Um, I've had a few sort of come to this thing and attack this. But either way, if they destroy that staircase, I'm still relatively safe, or it'll take them a while to get up to the base itself. Um, and, and that's part of the reason I didn't have any foundation, because initially I had a, another staircase going down here, and they destroyed it, so I've, I've just taken it away, and it's been a lot easier. I haven't had any issues with that back one there. I don't really get uh, too many bugs over in this area. There are um, spiders that spawn down at the end uh, that way, and then... Uh, obviously the wolf spider and stuff will spawn up in this area, but I've only seen him maybe once and uh, I've actually been able to with the ladybug and him uh, They've gotten stuck in this tube right here or in this section So it's been pretty easy to harvest them as well if they get stuck over there or at least run that way to get to them uh, Also again if you get Trapped it's it, there's a lot of ways to get back to the porch. It's fine. I found um, and you know just traverse the, the the environment as it is um, but so I'll take you inside here and then we'll kind of go through that uh, this is also a water pitcher so you can kind of get some water there if you need it um, going in it's pretty simple basically just have like the workstation stuff like here and some chests and and uh, if you didn't know you can also label these so at the bottom custom markers so you can sort of pick what they are and what what they do um, these ones just bug parts this one plant stuff you know fairly obvious uh, that's these are what the stuffed creatures look like, which I think look really good. I mean, they're basically just the model, but in a stagnant position, which is cool. Um, I would say, too, you can avoid building these things, the like pallets for stuff. The, the one for sticks, I think, is, is worthwhile because um, they'll hold them in place. But the leaves, they, they stack pretty well on their own, so you don't really need to do too much with that. And upstairs, we've got... Uh, this was done mainly so I could get onto the roof if I wanted to uh, and sort of shoot out i don't know if they're going to add flying creatures that are super dangerous but i assume at some point they will um and then the water catcher there but i just because I, I like the way it looked up top so i put it there uh, basketball goal uh, some mushroom farm stuff like that um so the initial plan and i'll go down there in a moment is i'm going to be building out all the way this way over to that uh garden lantern and then build a, a tower up above it uh, which which is how this all came to start um, There's also I'm probably gonna leave a section here Open so I can just start jumping from grass and and go through the yard Because uh, I found traversal since you're so light just getting on leaves and things is uh, Is much easier to do Than try and work around on the ground floor because it's just super dangerous um, But yeah, so and, and with these two it's a little weird to build on because they're all uneven so what I've been doing is um, on sort of the second tier structure has been building another pallet and then another way down. Uh, I think eventually I'm going to try and build uh, staircases on each of these down to the ground uh, or at least down to a jumping point where I can get to them from there. Uh, and the process of actually building all this has been pretty easy overall, I think. Um, I try not to lay things out too far in advance just because I have a bad habit of, uh, like say I have an empty floor here. To me, I see it almost as a floor, so I just try and walk on it. And there's also kind of limited visibility with it, too, so I don't plan too far ahead. Um, and also, but just by the nature of, of supplies and stuff, because I'm sort of running out of uh, weed sticks now. And uh, there's one over there I could go get, but 
at the moment. I, I'm getting kind of limited. I guess there's another one, but that's heavily infested by orb weavers over there. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, as far as the actual building process goes, uh, as you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff stacked here already, but I'll sort of show you uh, the basic idea. Actually, uh, this is more of how the processes went. So it'll be... Actually, before I built this roof, it was a little easier to... Um, but generally what I would do is I'd sort of run out the top of the building, um, kind of go over to the grass. As you can see, I've already started kind of harvesting a bunch there. But I'll take, uh, let's just take these as an example. But I'll chop probably five to six blades down and then, uh, I should feel like I should be better at this by now. But I'll, I'll jump, I'll take four to six down and sort of just toss them over in that direction and sort of continually toss them there and move them uh, and then what I'll do is I'll take everything into the house so that by nighttime I can actually start building without like any real uh, risk of, of bug encounters um, also find too I try to get ones that are close together because you can hit multiple ones at the same time uh, like for example these here that's three at once which is really helpful um, you can also use uh, the ant armor uh, you have a higher carry capacity. Um, I find though I use mostly the ladybug, um, just because if any any encounter were to happen, it, it seems better to have that, just because it has is higher defense and block chance and all that. But yeah, again, so you just sort of grab as much as you can and then you sort of fling them over. Uh, which I'm not sure what it is on the Xbox, but on the PC, it's just the R key. You can throw basically anything you're holding, uh, and those included. And that's pretty much it. That's not, you know, too much. I'll take these, you know, inside and show you that process. But yeah, again, it's it's sort of a lot of jumping around, but I, it protects you overall. It's a little annoying at the start, but and then just kind of drop them there. I usually be a little bit more uniform than that, and then uh, out the top and kind of drift back down and uh, go back to it so it's, it's so you don't always have to go through the staircase I think probably here soon too uh, I'll build another ladder from this so I can just go directly up through all that to bring them in instead of having to go through this process of the front door because uh, it, it's gotten a little laborious but that's it um, mostly I, oh I, I guess one other thing I'll note um, let me set these up sometimes too you can just kind of set them here and then, you know, grab them, whatever's easier. It really, as long as you're pretty much in this section here, you're completely safe. Uh, or at least so I found. Um, the other big reason I picked this area, though, too, is because food sources are a little hard to come by, uh, I found, because mushrooms don't do a ton. Um, but this place is normally littered with acorns, and those acorn chunks, as you can see, I'll take a bite of one there, but that's like 25% or so. Uh, so... Those are good. The acorn shells are used for storage and for the uh, uh, the mounts, I think. The wall mounted stuff. Oh, I picked up that last thing. Um, for the wall mounted plans. So I use it for those too. But it's a good source of food and it's like always right here. Uh, there's also all these weevils and stuff that you could kill as well if you really wanted to. And get the meat from that and cook that. Um, I found it spoils somewhat quickly like within a day I think so I don't cook too often uh, even though you could uh, there's also and eventually too um, I think the next big move is once that's extended I'll, I'll give you a shot of it over this way but once it's extended out um, all the way across there you'll notice that there's gonna be that sprinkler uh, you just saw a glimpse of it there but that sprinkler there, generally when they have sprinklers, there's puddles around them, and that's where you find clay, um, which is how you get this um, rocky foundation that we'll see here in a second. Because I've had people ask about it as well, so I'll sort of show that, and then probably in the video, yeah. But so this this rocky section here uh, has been... Oh, there's a stick I can't... Yep. That was good. <laughs> Smart of me. I've got some water, too, while I'm here. But yeah, the rocky foundation is clay, so you'll find that and then scan it in and then that. But you need a shovel to get it, which um, I actually can't remember what gives you that. Uh, but I'll lay a few more foundational pieces. 
Uh, I've also found these triangle sides to be really good for a lot of stuff, especially just aesthetic, because uh, they they fit pretty well in these places. Stairs are a little weird too because they if you where you put if you put them where you want it, this is where a normal plank would end, um, and it covers it to where you can't walk down it. So you have to sort of put it one full one past it, and then that kind of cuts it off to where you can still get through it, but it doesn't look as bad and you have less room to kind of fall down. So that's what sort of the design choice there. Um, same with these wall or uh, the sections too. I've kind of had to, as you can see, like sort of slant it and then angle it completely out. And uh, I probably won't go down into the logs until that next kind of higher up one. And then I may start building up straight to that because I want to sort of wrap it around it and then build a, another base kind of on the very top of that. Uh, just so I have a, a nice view of the yard as uh, in its entirety um, but that's it guys um, thanks for watching hopefully some of that helped you a little bit maybe it didn't but if it did leave a thing below and if you want to see more have any other specific questions feel free to ask um, I'd also say follow the reddit it's a new game so it's it's a small community but everybody's been really nice so far and I think uh, I think there's some huge potential with this game so uh, and I think anyone that's played it has can feel that so so yeah, thanks for watching.